Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Click the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I want to share with you the reason why I joined Avon. So I joined Avon about 12 and a half years ago um, under my great mentor, Feeney, who is one of the top leaders in Avon Canada. So 12 years ago, I, I was running my dance school and the dance school studio wasn't making a lot of money yet. At the time, we were fairly new. I think I was only a year and a half or so in. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do something that would give me some additional income while I can also use to help with any medical expenses that my grandpa may have um, and just basically help with the family a little bit. I was thinking about, you know, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Like I could waitress, but then I'd be on my feet all the time. Plus a lot of times for waitressing hours, I would have to work um, during the evenings, which would be my regular dance time or my dance, regular teaching time. And if I want to really maximize my time at the studio, there's just no way that I could, you know, be available for a business like for I would be available for a restaurant and still have time to teach dance and not be exhausted. I also I had like I tried doing um you know teaching for other studios for a while and again that also didn't really work out so well because again it kind of interfered with my dance time. And so then I had one of my dance students was actually bringing dance, uh, Avon brochures to my studio for over a year, like literally over a year. And no one ever ordered. Maybe there was, I think there was like one order during that entire time for like two roll on deodorants that Feeney just didn't didn't even process because it was just like she lived far away and it just didn't make sense to drive all the way to Scarborough from where Feeney lived for one small order. And so that got me thinking, it's like, huh, well, my mom used to do Avon. I know about the brand. I remember using Avon when I was really, really, really little. I remember sitting there opening the boxes with my mom. And I remember receiving the Avon brochures as a little girl. I was like, oh my gosh. It just, it, it, it brought back a lot of really great memories. So I made a huge list of questions to ask Vini. And <laughs> um, I grilled her for literally like 45 minutes. It was, I think it was like two or three pages long. And I, I grilled her question after question after question. And after talking to Feeney for so long, and Feeney was so patient with me, I was like, you know what, Feeney? Thank you so much for all the information. I'm not ready yet. I'm getting into my busy season. So maybe after the Christmas holidays, I've already joined in January. So and this was back in like October. So then what happened from there? Uh, Feeney was like, okay, well, can I just drop off some brochures for you? Just leave it in the mailbox. You don't even have to be at your studio. Just let me leave it in the mailbox. And I was like, all right, sure. And by the time I called her, I think late morning, early afternoon, and by the time I got to my studio around four o'clock, I had five or 10 brochures with my name labeled on each book in the mailbox at the studio. I was really impressed, like super duper impressed. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And this had like no obligation whatsoever. Feed was just like, I'll just go drop off some free brochures. And if you do get some orders, call me. And thought, I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. So I started off with asking the parents and then also asking the uh, my older students, my teenage students to see whether or not they would be interested in getting some uh, getting some orders from me. And, and it worked out ultimately that yes, I mean, I ended up with my first order, I think I got over like $400 in orders. It was, it was actually pretty incredible. Looking back and looking where I am with Avon now, so I've been with Avon, like I said, for about 12 and a half years now, and I know that I have grown as a person professionally and also, you know, just like socially, even um, through this company, I've made like lifelong friends like Feeney and I, although we bicker and Feeney, if you watch this, I love you, I love you, I love you, but we do bicker, but it's because we were so close with each other. But I have grown so much as a person and I really do, I really do love that about this company and Avon has, it, it gave me so many great experiences. Like I was able to have interviews with, um, with the Global Mail. I had an interview with the DSA, which is like the Direct Sellers Association of Canada. Um, and I was, you know, featured in, in an article with another influencer from social media there. And that was such a cool experience. I've also got to travel, I've earned trips. And when I look back at everything, it's just, it's really amazing how, although I didn't really know it at that time, but Avon really was a solution to my needs. I mean, it gave me the opportunity to work either part-time or full-time. It all depended on how I wanted or it, it, it just all depended on how I needed to work my business alongside my other business while still being able to take care of my grandpa because my grandpa was really, really, really ill before he passed away. And he, um, you know, he was pretty basically bedridden and it was, um, we were taking him for dialysis treatment three times a week and helping him with his care. Um, we'd take turns 
as a family, um, you know, rotating with his watch because he really did need 24 hour care. And just the fact that Avon allowed me to do that to take care of my family and still be able to run my full-time dance studio business and still make extra money part-time. It was an amazing, amazing solution. And now fast forwarding 12 and a half years down the road, I mean, it's it's still a great solution. So if you follow if you followed my channel for a while, you know that about a year ago I lost my dance school and I still get that choked up thinking about it, but it was one of the hardest moments of my life. My, my dance community really did come forward and just gave me, offered me so much support. My Avon community came forward and really also gave me so much support. And generally, just like everyone just, you know, showered us with positivity and love and support and care. And I really do appreciate that. And then while we're trying to go through all of the insurance process and everything, it's just, I needed also something at that time that could still keep me financially afloat but allow me to work and deal with everything I needed to work and deal with at that time. And I honestly, I put Avon on as a back burner for a while, but because I have built my team up for so long, I was able to still make some residual income from my team earnings as long as I just placed in that minimum order. And that was, that was my breathing space. And that was how I was in part I was able to get by over those, what, like six or eight months that I was just really, really, really struggling. Now, I'm, I'm, I've transitioned to teaching part-time, so I teach for the school board, I teach for the town of Aurora, and I'm just starting to do dance workshops again, which has been absolutely amazing. It's just, it's, it's been so passion-filled because I'm able to get back into doing something I really love to do, and I love to dance, I love to teach, and I love to create, but at the same time, I know that Avon is still there for me as my now full-time income and so once again Avon came to my rescue and just been such a wonderful solution to the problems not the problems but to the situations in my life that I needed I, I knew that when we got to a situation where I could I knew I just couldn't reopen a, a full-time full-scale full-blown studio anymore there's just it wasn't the cards anymore I mean um, so much time has passed by. I lost most of my students and we were just having so much problems with zoning or finding a right place. So anyways, that's a whole nother digression of a story. But the main thing was that I also was so worried that I wouldn't be able to be there as a mom for my daughter, for Ginevra. And that was, that was a huge fear for me that if I had to go work a regular full-time job, during the day, I'd either not be able to drop her off in the morning for school or I would not be able to pick her up from school. And that was something I didn't want to, it, it just wasn't an option in my life. If I could absolutely help it, I did not want that. I wanted to be able to pick her up from school, get her settled in a home, have homework time, start dinner, and just, you know, be really, really present for her as much as possible. And I feel that for my own family dynamics, that was so important to me because like my mom was always there for me. Like my dad worked full time at the restaurant. My mom worked too and like worked there as well. But growing up, it was just so important that, you know, when I got home from school on the school bus, mom was there. You know, mom had snacks ready for us or, you know, mom could be there to help us with homework or drive us to here and there. And I really wanted to be like that for my daughter too. I really wanted to be able to you know, hear her little stories and hear her little antics after every school day. It's just, I cannot see myself living a different life. Long story short, it just seems that how whatever life kind of threw at me, I have been able to take the flexibility that Avon offers or, or like a home-based business offers and use that to help solve what I needed to solve at that time, whether it be a time commitment issue or whether it be a financial issue or whether it be just like a social issue. Like one of the big things for me after I lost the studio was I went to my first meeting after I think three or four months and just my my Avon family just came and just, you know, they just gave me hugs and they just, 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 just you know, they just gave me so much support and just, it was my first time really getting out and thinking, and not think about the devastation for a little bit. I could just focus on something else. So it just gave me a bit of a mind break too. So I want to know, 
do you have a situation in your life that you're looking for a solution to? And if you do, let me know. Private message me. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You, you can, I think you can private message me on, on YouTube as well. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. But private message me and then we can see whether or not a home-based business can also be your solution. All right, guys, I love you. See you in the next video. Bye.